In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O come, O come, Emmanuel. Welcome to the online homily service sponsored by St. Mary's Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. This is the reflection for December 19th. James and Eleanor kept showing up. The year was 1989. Every now and then I would volunteer to join the local pro-life Catholics in a peaceful march in front of a local abortion clinic. We stood as prayerful witnesses against the unnecessary deaths of innocent children. James and Eleanor kept showing up. They were both in their 70s, and they had been coming to this same clinic for over 15 years. Most of the folks who had joined them back in the 70s had simply stopped coming, but James and Eleanor kept coming. Even when people told them that they were wasting their time, they kept showing up. One Saturday, Eleanor said to me, You know, Father, our children want us to stop doing this. Our daughter told us that we were too old to be out here protesting. But we told her that we were going to keep showing up until they stopped doing abortions. But, Eleanor went on, our daughter then asked, Well, Mom, what happens if the abortions don't end? What happens if you die and nothing has changed? Eleanor looked at me and said, Well, I told my daughter that if I die before the abortions end, I will be able to stand before God and say to him, Lord, you called me to do what was right, and I kept showing up. In today's Gospel, we meet another couple who kept showing up. As Luke introduces us to Zechariah and Elizabeth, he makes it very clear that these are two people who are faithful. They were righteous in the sight of God. They tried their best to live by God's commands. But these very good people lived with heartbreak. They had no children. And since the Jewish community at that time did not have a fully developed concept of eternal life, then every married man and woman yearned for the birth of children so that they could, in some sense, live on in their sons and daughters. Now remember, Zechariah and Elizabeth loved God. They trusted God. You can only imagine how often Zechariah and Elizabeth must have prayed, asking God to send them a child. But no child came. And now, long after Elizabeth has passed childbearing years, They lived with the realization that God, apparently, was not going to give them what they prayed for. On some level, I wonder if they asked themselves, did we do something wrong? Or did they ask themselves, why would God ignore us after we've tried so hard to pay attention to him? They prayed, but no child came. But I want you to notice what Luke tells us about Zechariah in today's Gospel passage. Luke tells us that Zechariah showed up. Zechariah belonged to the priestly tribe of Israel, and occasionally he was called upon to go to the temple to offer incense at the time of prayer. Even though it seemed that God had turned a deaf ear to Zechariah's heartfelt prayer, Zechariah knew that righteousness and faithfulness required that he just keep showing up for prayer. So when his turn came to go into the sanctuary and to offer the prayer at incense time, Zechariah showed up and he prayed because that's what you keep doing. And this time, Zechariah discovers that God had been listening to his prayers all along. 
The angel says to Zechariah, don't be afraid, because your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear a son, and you shall name him John. Elizabeth is going to have a child. These two faith-filled Israelites found out what happens if you just keep showing up, if you keep praying, if you keep listening for the voice of the Lord. But what would have happened? if Zechariah and Elizabeth had given in to a common spiritual temptation. They must have experienced, at times, a temptation to give up on God, to give up on prayer, to give up on hope. Wasn't Elizabeth tempted, at times, to give up on her prayers at home? Wouldn't Zechariah have said, why in the world should I go offer incense to God at his temple? He never seems to hear my prayers. But even if they were tempted in that way, they kept showing up. Zechariah would not have met the angel Gabriel if he had given up. He would not have heard the good news about the gift of this child if he had decided he was no longer going to show up for prayer. As a Roman Catholic priest, I can't tell you how often people have said to me, Oh, Father, I stopped praying. God never gives me what I want. Or how many times have people said to me, Oh, Father, I stopped going to Mass back in 1983. I never get anything out of it. People have lots of excuses to explain why they have stopped showing up. But we need to pay attention to the experience of Zechariah and Elizabeth. There are times in life when we just have to keep showing up, even when we're not sure whether God is listening or not, or what God might be up to. We will never hear God's answer if we stop praying. I will never sense his presence if I give up on Christ, or give up on his church, or give up on his people. Zechariah could only have his miraculous encounter in today's gospel because he kept showing up for prayer at the temple through the months and the years when nothing really special seemed to be happening when he prayed. We should never underestimate what God is trying to teach us as we keep showing up even when we're not sure why we've shown up again. When Christ first came to earth, his arrival was marked by signs and wonders. Wouldn't it be nice if Jesus would just show up in the middle of our lives, surrounded by similar miracles? Then it would be hard to ignore Jesus. But in my experience, Christ takes flesh more often in the mundane, rather than the miraculous. He took flesh in Bethlehem. He continues to take flesh in Richmond and Roanoke and Norfolk and Williamsburg and Charlottesville and everywhere in between. Christ keeps showing up even when we're not paying close attention. Christ keeps showing up. He shows up in our loved ones, in our neighbors, in the needy. Christ keeps showing up in the scriptures, in the church, in the Eucharist. Christ keeps showing up in that gentle whisper that's leading you in a certain direction in your life, in the tug of your conscience urging you to do something new or to do things right. Christ keeps showing up in things as ordinary as human beings, the things of nature. He shows up in bread and wine. Christ keeps showing up because we need him. We must show up before him in prayer because we need him. Keep showing up. Keep praying. Keep joining God's people at the place of worship. Someday, you will hear an answer which astounds you.